Hello, welcome to this week's Toddler Time. I've got another Christmas jumper on. Look, is it, who do you think that is? What do you think that might be a picture of on there? Yeah, it's Jesus saying happy birthday. It's his birthday that we're celebrating on the 25th of December, which I'm sure you knew. And I expect you're looking forward to getting some presents on Christmas Day. Now, I wonder if you could help me today tell the Christmas story. I'm sure you know it very well. Once upon a time, there was a lady called Mary. One day, Mary was washing up in the kitchen. Perhaps you could pretend to wash up. Here you go, wash up a bowl, put it on the side. Wash up a plate, put it on the side. When suddenly there was a bright light. Mary had to cover her eyes. Perhaps you could cover your eyes. The bright light was an angel. Angels are very beautiful creatures who are messengers from God. They work for God. The angel gave Mary a message telling her that she was going to have a baby. Now, Mary's tummy very soon started to grow. Can you rub your tummy? Because as the baby grew inside her tummy, her tummy grew. Now, Mary was going to marry, do you know who? Was going to marry Joseph, and he was the village carpenter. Now, Joseph was very worried about Mary and the baby. One night, he had a dream. And in his dream, an angel told him not to be worried or scared. Now, if you're ever worried or scared, you can tell your mum or your dad or your teacher. And you can tell God, you can pray to God and tell him about your worries and your fears because he loves you. Now, just a few weeks before her baby was ready to be born, the king told the whole country that everyone had to travel to the place in the country where their family were from. Now, Mary and Joseph lived in Nazareth and they had to travel 70 miles to a place called, do you know? Starts with a B, Bethlehem. That's right. Now, it probably took them three or four days and they had to walk slowly. Do you want to walk slowly? Mary might have had a donkey to ride on and the donkey would walk slowly with Joseph leading him because they didn't want to hurt the baby. Well, when they got to Bethlehem, all the hotels were so full they couldn't find anywhere. But in the end, they found a barn where they could stay. A barn where animals sleep. Now, what animals might live in a barn? And what noises do they make? Can you help me here? Perhaps there was a cow in the barn. What noise does a cow make? Moo. That's right. Go on, say with me. Moo. There might have been a sheep in there. What noises do sheep make? Bah! That's right. Perhaps there was a pig in there. Can you make a noise like a pig? <coughs> oink, oink. What other animals might have been in there, do you think? A donkey? How do they go? Eat or eat There might have been a cat in the barn. How do cats go? Meow, meow. And finally, perhaps there was a little mouse hiding in the straw somewhere. How do mouse, mice go? What noise does a mouse make? Ee ee. That's right. That night, Mary's baby was born. She called him Jesus. Mary didn't have a cot to put Jesus in, so she laid him. Where did she lay him? In a manger, which is where animals eat their food. 
Jesus was a special baby. He was God's baby. And God wanted everyone to know that Jesus had been born. Now, most people in Bethlehem were asleep. Can you pretend to be asleep? Perhaps they were snoring. Can you make a snoring noise? Now, outside of Bethlehem, in the fields, there were some shepherds looking after their sheep. And suddenly, a whole group of angels appeared and sang to the shepherds, telling them that Jesus had been born and telling them to go and find him. And they'd find him in a manger. And so the shepherds hurried off. Can you run? Can you hurry off? Hurry round the room. They hurried off and they found where Jesus was. And they knelt down before him. And when they were going on their way back to the sheep, everyone they met, they told about the angels that appeared in the sky and about finding baby Jesus. Thank you for your help. That's the end of our story for today. Now, I think we could sing two or three songs. Shall we sing the song I taught you last week? Which was, I need you to clap with me. Just make sure I haven't lost the words. Jesus was born and laid in a manger. Ready? Jesus was born and laid in a manger. Jesus was born and laid in a manger. Jesus was born and laid in a manger. And his name means saviour. Alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. And his name is Jesus. We know a king that the shepherds worshipped. We know a king that the shepherds worshipped. We know a king that the shepherds worshipped. And his name means saviour. Alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. And his name means Jesus. Is Jesus, rather. Shall we sing it again? Jesus was born and laid in a manger. Jesus was born and laid in a manger. Jesus was born and laid in a manger. And his name means saviour. Alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. And his name is Jesus. We know a king that the shepherds worshipped. We know a king that the shepherds worshipped. We know a king that the shepherds worshipped. And his name means saviour. Alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. And his name is Jesus. And the next song is one I taught you last week, Silent Night. But we put our own words in. For toddler time. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Angels tell shepherds to find the king. Mary and Joseph welcome them in. Baby Jesus is born, baby Jesus is born. And again, silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Angels tell shepherds to find a king. Mary and Joseph welcome them in. Baby Jesus is born. Baby Jesus is born. Now, what about the first verse of Away in a Manger? You might well know that one. One, two, 
three. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Again. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. I hope you've enjoyed this week's toddler time. Next week I'm going to tell you the story about a little girl called Lily who goes to rescue a dog on Christmas Eve. But I'll just say a very short prayer to finish. Father God, we thank you for sending Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that we celebrate your birthday soon on the 25th of December. We thank you that you came to earth to live and to show us what God is like. And we thank you that you came to be our friend and you're always there and we can always talk to you. Amen. Bye bye. Bye bye.